I just came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. Okay, this is not supposed to be offensive. But I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, like, not like this. Just like, you know, like, I pretend my tattoos are gone. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, Shadow Realm? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. Reclaim Your Throne. I just. Uh, I just. Came to the realization why I'm single. Every guy that I'm like, oh yeah, he's attractive. Okay, this is not supposed to be offensive, but I see their wives and they just look like so like, you know, like, not like this. Just like, you know, like, I pretend my tattoos are gone. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I look crazy. Like, that's why guys don't want to wife me up. And I just come to this realization. Today. See? Or maybe it's because all of them see me eat sushi after I get out of the grocery store in my car with my bare fingers. And drink sweet tea. I thought these men wanted like you know big strong tough girls I don't know I feel like all of them are like like super girly and all these guys are like yeah that's my girl that's just like housewife stuff and I'm over here like I own my own business I'm covered in tattoos I'm a little spazzy, but that's okay. We embrace it. But yeah, I I don't think any guy's gonna wife me up because I can't take me seriously. And I just realized that. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. The red vitamin is vindicated. Guys, we were right about everything and we've always been right about everything. See, here's the thing. You are a masculine woman and you just realized it now after you already made the fatal flaws. Now, here's the thing. You possibly could come back from it. I haven't seen the full body yada yada, <clears throat> but you know, the tattoos are, they're just ugly, bro. They are just ugly it, it, there's no symmetry there there's no real there's no it, it doesn't even look like a real purpose like it, it's just not it they look like prison tattoos okay and for one women aren't, shouldn't be getting tattoos at all all right but that's a whole nother discussion but yes you look too masculine so one take out the septum piercing for one everybody knows girls with septum piercings are hoes point blank you're getting ridden off, off rip, all right? Take out the little, um, the nose ring thing too. That's a hotel as well, all right? <clears throat> Unless it's like one of them Indian girls who got the little thing. But m American women with the nose piercings, I mean, that means you've been sucking a lot of dick. 
point blank. Let's just keep it a binuck, all right? And then your lashes and mascara, honey. Oh my God, it is a problem. Them hoes look like spider legs. It, it, it's just... Ugh, like you look like a dirty bitch with, with, with those. I'm just keeping it up. I'm just keeping it up. <clears throat> so um, those are some things you can work on. Also, okay, with the femininity, you're going to the gym and trying to look jacked like your boy reclaim. Let's go. All right. But no, you need to be going to the gym, doing hip thrusts, doing squats, doing leg presses, you know, working on your lower body <clears throat> and your abdomen, all right? Why are you benching? Why are you doing them little curls? Why are you doing all this stuff? Ma'am, you need to work on your femininity. Also, um, I would say, for one, get off the roids because I can see your acne breaking out. I know you're trying to cover it with makeup, um, but get off the roids. It looks like you've probably been trying to literally get jacked by taking um, supplements, right? So get off the roids. And I mean, she could come back because she's actually pretty cute in the face if she worked on the way that she puts herself together. Um, but for one, you need a fat ass. So how do you get a fat ass? The same things that you've been doing for your arms and your shoulders, just put that to your legs, your arms and shoulders are good. You need, you actually need them hoes to get smaller. Your hands look big as hell. Um, so you need to stop doing upper body completely, madam. Um, you need to go to the gym, focus on them squats, focus on leg presses, focus on lower body and your core. Um, and then, <clears throat> you know, eat a healthy amount, right? I'm not saying overeat and get fat, but you know, just look softer. You just look too hard right now. Like you look like if I flick your titty, it ain't going to move. Like <laughs> You just look stiff. So, um, and just your look, I don't know, like it's just too much separation from like her collarbone, her chest, and then where her actual boobs actually sit. I'm just trying to figure, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just too much separation. You look trans doing all this, you know, whatever you're doing, trying to get swole and trying to get jacked like your little gym simps. That's what's really going on. She's going to the gym with gym simps, all right? And Guys, I, I've already spoken on these gym simps, simps years ago, but let's readdress it. Gym simps are the guys who go and work out with girls who they are not smashing at all and have no chance of smashing, but they're going and working out with her every single day and, and you know, squatting her and literally tempting themselves and, and dangling the, the meat or the carrot or whatever you want to say it is in their own face and they're just drooling over this girl and and they're going to the gym with her every day and they're not fucking and it's just like you're like a best friend oh my god he's my best gym bro like he's my best these are the gym simps okay and they're hoping that the girl's gonna like them eventually it doesn't work out that way bro if you're going to the gym with a girl all the damn time and y'all have not fucked yet you are in the friend zone bruh it's over and there's no way to get out because she, th that just shows me that there are guys in the gym that are hotter than you that she's probably more interested in. Because I'm telling you right now, the girl, the guys who are smashing these girls, they don't work out with these girls. All right. And, you know, unless it's for some promotional or social media influence or whatever, but normal guys who are actually smashing the girls in the gym, they're not working out with the girls every freaking day and being friendly and da, 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 da. What, what's happening is, is my strategy. What's happening is they see guy at gym <clears throat> and then they go into the nightlife and see guy in the nightlife. Now they got liquored up. They got the courage. All right. Now they're going to go approach that guy or maybe he approaches them. They smash. They see each other in the gym a few more times. She starts to be like, oh my God, he's so hot. I want him. And then he's like, eh, nah, I just want to keep it casual. Then everybody ends up switching gyms. <laughs> That's what happens, dude. I mean, man, I'm I'm a savant with this job. I be calling it. I literally know every single dynamic, like all these social dynamics, bro. I know every tidbit of them. So I know exactly what's happening to her. She works out with gym simps. A lot of these guys, you know, these are the, the guys who are a little bloated, right? They might not be like super cut up like your boy. And they're like, they're like a little bloated, 
but they're they're swole guys, right? But they're bloated and they're it, it's it's like it's like fat swole type thing, more of a stocky look. Maybe they're not six feet, you know what I'm saying? All that type of stuff. Um, <clears throat> so these are the guys that she's working out with, who you know want to date her, want to be with her, but she keeps them in the friend zone. And and then she's like, oh, you're the bro, and she's punching him in the arm and all this goofy shit. I mean, this is just how a lot of these modern gym girls are, and she's basically technic trying to compete with the guys, and then she beats a couple guys, and then she she like outlifts a couple guys in, in certain lifts, and now she thinks she's just king dingling, and now she starts getting more masculine because it makes her feel good to 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 outdo men. It makes her feel good to outdo men. I know these types, bro. I know them. I mean, I fucked these types before, all right? So I know how they operate. And I'm telling you right now, that's exactly the situation that she's in. She has plenty of guys who want to date her. Don't let her fool you. And they no, all those gym simps that she works out with and never gives them a time of day, but you know, they're friendly and she punches them on the arm and calls them bro and calls them you're my best friend and you're my buddy and my gym bro, whatever. All those guys, they want to date her. They want to marry her. They want to take her off the market right now, even after she's told them all of her spicy stories about hooking up with the, the, the guy who comes to the gym, you know, every once in a blue moon or, or, or hooking up with the trainer who, you know, trains all of the, you know, the, the cougars and, and the milfs. Guys, <clears throat> I know these types. All right. I'm telling you exactly what she's doing. She has guys who want to marry her right now. Nice guys, good guys, Malcolms, mildly attractive, lucrative, communicative, operational, likable men. But she does not want them. She wants guys that she can't have, that she's not, you know, like she said, all the guys who she's seeing, who she's like, oh, he's hot. These guys are with very feminine women, very quiet women, women who like eh, squeak like a mouse. Those are the women we like. All right. And. I don't know why women think that men want all these masculine, super, oh, I'm beefed up, da, 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 da. <laughs> y'all are out of y'all minds. Somebody done lied to y'all, and the, the programming is deep as hell. Like, we want women who are like, eh, okay, uh, well, I don't know what direction I'm going, but I'm following you. That's, that's the type of bitch we want. <laughs> and y'all don't get it, man. I mean, it's insane. Okay, look like a fucking rat right now, but help me solve this problem. This problem. I get the ick every time I talk to a guy. Every time. I try to give guys that tell me they work out a chance. We go lift together. I'm out lifting them. Ick. Ick. We go out to eat. I eat more than them. No. I can't. I can't. I can't be with a guy that I eat more. I can't be with a guy that I outlift. I can't be with a guy that doesn't go to the gym at all because, like, he's not going to understand... I need to go to the gym to solve my anger issues. I need to go to the gym to make myself mentally stable. The gym is my life. And after the gym, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go get sushi. And then I'm gonna eat four rolls. And you know, they had the audacity. I'm just gonna get one roll. <laughs> Who are you? One roll? Oh, I hit a light lift today. Oh, what'd you do? I see like some bicep curls and cardio. No. No. It's awkward. I made myself like this. So, also, I'm six foot on top of that. So, like, you gotta be big, tall. You gotta be big, big. And you gotta eat big. 
You gotta be big if you wanna be with this big body. <clears throat> Lord, 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 Lord. And there you have it. See, everything that I assessed was 100% right. Dog, did I call this or not? Dude, don't nobody know these women more than your boy. I'm telling you, what did I say in the beginning of this video? For one, I stated, I stated that she was going to the gym with guys who were beta, they were guys she works out with, guys she never would see herself smashing. I literally said this, and now she's talking about she outlifts them. I said that in the last clip. Guys, I, I told you this. She's outlifting the guys, it turns her off. They're beta, they can't direct her. And then she just said she she just told us she's six feet. So now she has a height requirement. The guy's gonna have to be six three, six four, maybe even six five, because when she wears heels, she wants to be um, the same height, if not him, taller than her. So she's pretty much lowered the, her dating um, her dating pool down significantly. And here's the thing: the guys who fit the category who she wa who she wants, she's too masculine for. Okay. These big, strong 6'4", six, 6'5", six, guys who are 250 pounds and, and, you know, benching 500 pounds or 450 pounds, squatting 525 pounds, all that kind of stuff, uh, you know, uh, power cleaning 375. These types of men, they want very soft, little, squeaky, mousy girls. That's what I told you. They want, oh, I don't know where to go. Oh, can you tell me what workout to do? That's what these types of men want. Very masculine, brutish men, rough around the edges, rugged, you know, a, a, a lot of scars, whatever. Guys who have been through things and guys who are this big, they want soft, demure, meek, mild. You are destined to date a beta. I keep trying to tell her, like she, her doing all this and flexing and stuff like that, like ma'am, <laughs> you talking about outlifting the men that you're working out with for one, that's how I know that you ain't working out with no real dogs, okay? Because if you're outlifting the men that you're working out, and I know she don't lift that much. I'm telling you right now, like, I, I would say her squat, I would say, I'll give her, because she's pretty stocky, I'll give her two, I'll give her 245 max, a squat max, all right? Bench, mm, I, I might give her 185, maybe 200. So if, if you're outlifting guys like that, you're going for the super tall, skinny nigga bust downs. And they may, they may not even be ninjas, right? But she's going for the skinny, tall, like white boy look. Because I'm assuming she's dating white boys. She's going for the skinny, tall look. Bro, skinny and tall is not strong. If you punch those guys in the stomach, they're folding, okay? So, like, here's the thing. A lot of women don't know how to assess men. If you want a big, strong man... You have to know what type of men those are. And these guys, they have beards, all right? They, you see the size on them. Um, and, and, and it's almost like she's expecting some, you know, 6'4 guy who's 185 pounds to be benching the whole house. And that's not how it works. Height does not equal strength. And a lot of these women don't understand that. See, when I played uh, uh, college football at the University of Georgia, we had, I mean, giants. We had plenty of tall guys, but a lot of these guys coming in freshman year, they're very skinny. I mean, look at the guy, Travis Hunter, dude. What, he's like 165 pounds. What, he's 6'2", 6'3", 165 pounds. And the guy is as small as a toothpick. That's why when he got hit um, by that Colorado State player, that's why it took him out because, let me tell you something, DK Metcalf, if he would have got hit by that, he would have got hit and the other guy would have got up hurting, okay? That's what big strong men look like women women think that oh he's tall he's strong no if he's tall and skinny and you could wrap your hand around his wrist he's not strong point blank um but you know like i said women they're not good at numbers they don't really understand body composition like that and then they 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 don't really get that just because you look a certain way doesn't mean that you have that strength so What's happening is she's going on these gym dates with these guys who who she just wants attention from. 
she's just trying to embarrass them and, and trying to make herself feel good and give herself an ego boost. I'll tell you right now, if I worked out with this girl, man, I would have her panting. <gasps> I have her dying. All right. I would have her dying doing the workouts that I do. But women, especially women like this, the, the super strong, da, 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 they prey on the weak men. That's what a lot of guys don't understand. They're preying on weak men and they're, and they're looking for these guys and they're trying to embarrass them. They're trying to boss them around. That's why I said she's, she's destined for a beta because I know for a fact she's come across super alpha guys. But here's the thing, especially at the gym. But here's the thing. Those guys, they want soft, demure women and she's probably not going to approach them. And I mean, most guys are not approaching a six foot woman. I'm going to just tell you that right now. Like even if the guy is six, seven, even if he's a freaking giant. I mean, look at Wimbayama. I mean, I saw a picture with him with a woman and the girl was like five, six and he was busting her down. Tall men are not as into tall women as y'all think. All right. And a lot of y'all tall women are going to have to date a short king. All right. And they don't want to hear that, but it's the reality. Um, so like everything is it's 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 really just comes down to this opposites attract. You got a big, strong, tall guy. He's going to want a really small little girl. He's going to want something that he could put in his pocket, all right? You got you got a super thick, big, big, juicy, booty, fat-ass girl with big tits. Who's she going to go with? She's going to go with the skinny nigga bust down. We see this all the time, guys. How many times do you see a super stacked girl and she's with this dude who looks like a freaking toothpick? But, you know, he, he, you know he, he, he got the Thug Max Alpha Simp swag on. And he pulled her, all right? And he weighs less than her. But this is what's going down in the dating market. Um, there are types for everyone. Her type, from what she's saying, is these big, strong guys. But here's the thing. These big, strong guys want soft women. They want women who don't have attitudes like her. They don't want women with anger issues. You know, she spoke on her anger issues. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you have anger issues, the gym is not going to solve your anger issues. You might need to lay off the roids, like I said. The gym is not going to solve your anger issues. It is, it's it's going to be medication, right? It's going to be something that can help you control them. But if you have anger issues, that's something that you need to work out internally or you need to go to a therapist, okay? Because men are not supposed to be your therapist. We are not supposed to be your therapist. And then she spoke about eating more than men eating more than the men she's she's going on dates with okay and i mean i i really don't see why that would be an ick it just shows that you a hungry ass bitch and <laughs> you eat a lot and if you continue down this path and you know let's just say some the workout thing slows down you're gonna start seeing it and honestly i think that she should eat more because she needs to, I haven't really seen her um, her legs, but she needs a big ass, especially with her height. She needs a big old ass. So let me see if I can look at her TikTok, PBT Fitness. I mean, with her height, if she is not thick, like if she don't have a big old booty, then you are not going to find a man. I, I mean, you might find a man, but he's not gonna be one of these big alpha strong guys. So I'm looking at her right now. Yeah, she ain't really got no ass. She don't really have no ass. Um, yeah, let me look. Let, let me look to the Instagram, cause she is like she's talking all this stuff. <laughs> she's talking all this stuff. Goblet squatting, a uh, hundred twenty pound dumbbell. And okay, I'm just watching her doing lunges. I mean, she's putting in work, but. It's just like the look is, uh, here's the thing, like she's way too focused on, on upper body. Like you need to be focused on getting that dump truck because you over here doing this upper body stuff, trying to get like swole like a man and it's not cute. And then doing all those like strong ass poses, the uh and the uh and I mean, she might've done competitive lifting or whatnot. But uh, I'm going to tell you right now, for one, keep doing the eating thing, slow down on the, the goofy ass poses and the upper body and build a booty, man, because uh, 
She needs she needs an ass. That's all I'm saying. If she wants to attract these guys that she's saying that she wants to attract, you need a big old ass back there because like your look is just not it. Like guys don't want this, oh I'm strong. Da, 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 da. Like it's not cute. Unless you're dealing with another, like, I mean, he's gonna be most likely he's gonna end up being a weirdo, you know. Shout out to my white guys, but he's gonna be one of those guys who you know, it's like, oh yeah, I want a strong, strong da, 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 woman. And he's going to let you lead him. That's what's going to happen. And it is what it is. Um, uh, you know, it, it, that's just how the game goes. But I, <laughs> everything that I said was proven right. Was proven right. Uh, I predicted her condition and why she was struggling with dating so I'm happy that, you know, everything that I said was confirmed in this TikTok here. But anyways, you already know what it is. It's your boy Reclaiming Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See you in a relationship. Of course, email down below with a screenshot of your catch up. So I know you pay on the man. Y'all already being on your motherfucking name with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look no further. The Reclaim Your Throne Elite D1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world. The purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports. This course is packed with over two hours of creative, action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength, speed, flexibility, recovery, and endurance. Hey, I get it. Training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated. But with this course, I walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results. So what are you waiting for? It's now or never. So go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne.